जी यू वेलकम टू वेंटेज डेवलपर्स प्रेजेंट्स गेम ऑन है मैं हूँ रोहान दीम यू एस ए के साथ सुपर ओवर का मैच हारने के बाद फिर इंडिया के अगेंस्ट एक बहुत जीता हुआ मैच ऑलमोस्ट हारने के बाद पाकिस्तान ने फाइनली अपना अकाउंट खोल लिया है इंडिया आई सी सी टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर बाई अ विन अगेंस्ट कैनेडा बाई सेवन विकेट्स इस स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड रन चेज को एक दफ़ा फिर रिलीफ करेंगे अपनी पोस्ट मैच एनालिसिस के थ्रू जो हमारे गेस्ट आपके लिए लेके आए हैं हम लोग वापस पूरा पूरी कोशिश है हमारी कि इस वर्ल्ड कप में जो है हम अपना बेस्ट करें टू शेयर विद यू एवरीथिंग दैट इज़ गोइंग ऑन बिहाइंड द सीन्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स अ लॉट टू टॉक अबाउट वंस अगेन फ्रॉम दिस मैच इज़ वेल बट जितनी बात हमने इंडिया के मैच के बाद की थी especially the the criticism that went on um, surrounding the pakistan team whether it was about the bowling whether it was about the batting thodi si ab wo uh, settle down hui hogi khas taur pe ab kyunki points on the table aa gaye hain do points those very crucial points so we will talk about all of this and how of course pakistan approached the run chase and mm-hmm. that mindset that was clearly different uh, and we saw that right from the coin toss we saw that from that much needed change that was made in the top order so all of that coming up uh, shortly i've got with me my beautiful co-host erin holland uh, and she's also as uh, happy about the pakistan win as we all are because uh, she's almost half pakistani now erin what were your thoughts watching uh, pakistan take on canada at last where has this been exactly a clinical run chase they got the job done with the ball <coughs> zabras performance finally do points on the board still in it with a chance and what a much lighter room it is in the post match <laughs> show i have to say you're smiling that makes me very happy and i'll tell you now that it's actually worked out reverse psychology wearing red today i wore green last time it didn't work out i've worn red today opposite colors here we are so i think i've learnt my lesson you know who to thank <laughs> the whole country but to quickly introducing our shandar zabardast panel who is here with us once again shweb akhtar martin gaptil yunus khan and mohammad afiz gentlemen thank you so much yes. shweb coming quickly to canada's first innings 106 on the board unke captain ne kaha 25 30 runs hum short the is wajah se hum hare hain your thoughts on how pakistan approached this run chase to kisne kaha na karo wo kar lete na 25 runs mohammad amir would disagree i mean johnson was there right yeah so johnson was there he should not play unka rizwan nikla upar se maar di wo khada raha paanch aur khad pade hue hain aaram se go out there just you know tap it in very short in lag rahi and make sure that you score some runs but pakistan again pakistan ne yahi karna tha total aaron यही करना चाहिए था पाकिस्तान को 52 एंड 52 रन्स, 52 बॉल्स 52 रन्स। सिमिलरली बाबर 35 बॉल्स 35 रन्स। दैट्स ऑल यू हैड टू डू अगेंस्ट इंडिया। वी आर नॉट क्रिटिसाइजिंग यू बिकॉज़ यू कुड नॉट डिलीवर इट इज़ जस्ट राइट देयर फॉर टेकिंग वी डिन टेक इट। सो हमें गुस्सा इसलिए आया। वी बट एंग्री। बट नाउ लेट्स मूविंग फॉरवर्ड। गाइस डोंट लूज होप। वी स्टिल इन द टूर्नामेंट। uh we need to be, uh, beat um next team ireland ireland uh, ireland who don't have a good um history between ireland and us ireland has become a very dangerous <laughs> team but anyways moving forward i think it's a great win great display of uh, skill set a good motivation good intent been seen out there you know that's all uh, they needed bit of a tap on the shoulder and they got go we got them started Marty, if they finally get that win on the board. <coughs> a little bit of chatter happening online just about, oh, are they aware of net run rate? Why are they not attacking this, uh, you know, with a more ferocious pace to try and, you know, get yeah. ahead of that net run rate? But you've got to win the game first and foremost, yeah. and that's exactly what they did today. Yeah. Were you impressed with the psychological win as well as the actual legitimate win today on the board? I think they definitely needed the win for themselves, uh, the confidence to get back on the horse, and make sure they get back to winning ways because in T20 cricket losing is very much a habit but the other side of that is winning becomes a habit as well and if you can create that winning thought process within the team um everything sort of flows on from that and you can start playing better cricket but i thought they actually did really well they what they did better today was that they rotated the strike a lot mm. a lot easier yeah. with a lot more freedom there was yes. they weren't put on under, under as much pressure um with the probably <coughs> the as good a bowling attack but what they did well is they had you know baba and rizwan both time in the middle rotated mm. the strike nicely they didn't get mm. bogged down with what look they did against yes. india yes. and that creates frustration yes. creates rash shots um, i think we saw today that 
Now Rizman played some beautiful shots when he used his feet to the spinners, got down to the pitch of the ball, hit over cover beautifully, uh, and down the ground. It was mm. um, a really professional effort um, because yeah. if th those sorts of chases, if you go too hard too early mm. and you get to four or five down, still needing 40 runs, things become a little bit dicey. Um, that's when that pressure and the frustration sets in and you play rash shots and then you end up finding yourself six or seven down, still needing 25 runs. So. Make, I thought they did really well and they did exactly what they needed to get back on, on the winning ways. Right, Eunice, your thoughts on, of course, that Mohamed Rizwan uh, 50 as well. He now has the most 50s for an opener in T20 internationals. 71 innings, if we look at 50 plus scores. But today... Arif Rauf, what are your wickets? Exactly. And on this wicket, we can do this in India against it. It wasn't much of a challenge. ना कोई complication थी आज भी बहुत नहीं complication थी India खेल रही थी हमारे खिलाफ लेकिन रिजवान जैसे batter उनके ऊपर तो हमने show में भी बात की कि you know कुछ चीजें उनको pick कर लेनी चाहिए थी as a senior batter जब बुमराह को वापस लाया गया maybe he could have held and protected his wicket there turn of things for him today आज जिस तरह उन्होंने approach की अपने innings को नहीं जबरदस्त था जैसे bowlers ने bowling की और उसके बाद जब batters की बारी आ Exactly, it was a target that they had chased. And the good thing is that we had talked about last match that what we had to do with Rizwan and Baba Razan was to do exactly what we had to do today. The good thing is that when you have points, the top batters are informed. The bowling is also informed. I think it was a good sign for Pakistan. It was a much needed victory. I think it was like this. If we talk about the net trender, there were many up and downs. Now it was not that because if you didn't have points, then there will not be a chance for you. I think it was okay. Now move forward, focus on the next match, focus on a good way, and wherever I talk about it, play the situation. If the situation is in the next match, if you are chasing 180 runs, then play the same way. If you are chasing 80 runs, then play the same way. But make sure that when the last match comes, you can play the net runner a little better. It's a good thing that Pakistan has played the match. Ballers have done a lot of balling. After that, our captaincy also has a lot better. And especially, we have chased today. And I am saying that we have chased today. So, it's a good thing that we have to take ownership of all of us and our players. And Professor, a much more regular run chase from the batters from Pakistan. Yes, a different looking lineup. The Simo Yub experiment, it's not like it came off exceptionally well today, but it gave something different. Baba coming in at three. What did you think of the game today and were you happy with the lineup in the end? Well, first of all, congratulations to Pakistan team. They came out from, a, um, you know, I, I will call it a mental torture. Yeah. Because once you don't play well against India, you mentally get down. So they came out of it, they did well as a team, so fantastic work. If you talk about earlier, the bowling basically set, set the tone for the Pakistan team. They bowled Canada, like they bowled 20 overs within the power runs. Because if they could manage to get 130 on this track, it could have been a different story. But we, we basically bowled well, Amir bowled really well, Naseem Shah, and everyone basically played their role to restrict Canada under power runs. And then the approach to chase it down was really fantastic because we saw in, in the previous couple of games, the rotation of strike was not good. Because as we mentioned a couple of times, even Martin uh, said a couple of times in the same thing, like, you know, as a batsman, if you rotate the strike well, you give yourself a best chance to to go ahead of the game. So I think they did well, especially Rizwan. He was really fantastic today, the way he batted. And along with, I think, uh, you you calling it experiment, I think it, it's the right solution for Pakistan mm -hmm. cricket mm -hmm. to have Saim as an opener. Uh, because that give a, a first four sorted. Because no matter which format you play, especially in a T20 format, you would like to have a proper four batsmen who we can rely to win the game for you in any given condition. So I think at the, at the moment, if Saim plays as an opener, it gives the right balance to Pakistan in their batting lineup in the first four uh, batters. So I think they did the right thing. Yes, he got out, but I think the intentions were right. Mm. The way he batted, the way he was, he even he got out, but I think the shot was on. We only criticize sometimes the consequences. The on the, uh, we criticize sometimes on the on the result, but we don't see that how what was the process. The context so I think, was there. So yeah. I think personally, Sam was playing well. The shot was on; he couldn't execute it well. Yeah. That is a different story. But Baba coming at number three, I think this is the right position for him, where he always take the right approach to take the game on. Uh, he batted really well. His rotation, because he's a technically so solid, like he does not bog down in any situation of the game. 
so what he does he basically rotate the strike well and that really worked for pakistan tonight yeah. uh, so i personally think uh, rizwan and babar they again proved that they are the main pillar of pakistan team and they're doing well for pakistan team once they do well pakistan mostly win the game so i'm really happy to see this uh, this success but obviously uh, this win was really important that's what they did चलें एक क्विक नजर डालते हैं मैच समरी पे व्हाट हैपेंड इन न्यूयॉर्क दिस मॉर्निंग पाकिस्तान वन द टॉस एंड फुट कनाडा टू बैट फर्स्ट इट वाज प्रीटी मच अ वन मैन शो फ्रॉम एरन जॉनसन 52 फ्रॉम हिम ऑफ 44 बॉल्स पाकिस्तान के बॉलर्स ने काफी अच्छी ग्रिप रखी मैच पे आमिर विद दैट अ प्लेयर ऑफ द मैच विनिंग स्पेल फोर ओवर्स फ्रॉम हिम टू विकेट्स गिविंग अवे जस्ट 13 रन्स हारिस रूफ आल्सो पिकिंग अप टू क्रूशियल विकेट्स इन हिज quota of overs uh, shaheen and naseem with one wicket each jawab mein bahut straight forward um, chase tha ye pakistan ke liye ek bar phir aur mohammad rizwan coming through with the bat 53 and pretty much leading that uh, run chase 53 not out from him and of course so being supported by his uh, captain 33 from him and um, a, a good effort uh, you know at the top from canada with the ball but in the end pakistan were just you know uh, cruising through this run chase and in the end winning the match by 7 wickets iska result abhi aaya hai points table pe ke do points pakistan ke paas aa chuke hain aur net run rate jo hai wo is waqt point 19 ka hai and canada bilkul unse niche do points ke sath lekin unka net run rate is waqt thoda sa negative nazar aa raha hai but that's what group a looks like right now india of course leading that net run rate thoda behtar hua hai aur babar ne bhi baad mein ye bola ke uh, unke mind mein net run rate tha lekin the man who set it up for pakistan mohammad amir your thoughts on watching his spell and especially with that economy on this pitch nahi aap dekh sakte hain bada clearly ke wo experience uska bol raha hai uski length uski hamesha main kehta hu length mein aggression hota hai pace mein nahi wo apni length ko jeopardize nahi hone de raha tha wo bada samajhdar fast bowler hai pehla sare ball ne jaise martin ne kaha pehla sara ball ne lose kiya but again having said that i think the pick of the bowler is is amir is smart he justifies his place yeah. is justifies his come back into pakistan team but again uh, i think uh, effort words was there from him or age i think compliment kiya hai age naseem shah looked a bit looked a bit excited forgot his length bahar ball kar raha tha don't do it don't do it because my belief is that pakistan needs to play separate i mean the whole of india is praying for pakistan to come and meet us in the quarter finals and the semi finals This is what I know. India, I work with India, so the whole world is praying that. So it is very demoralizing for overseas Pakistani when they come to see. You see, the once in a lifetime they come and see, watch their teams to play in front of their eyes, and that never happened before. So they were really disappointed. I really want Pakistan to get through the Super Eight. If Ireland, please lose it. <laughs> Make sure you do. <laughs> so <laughs> do us a service. Do us and. um to india uh, scotland needs to lose from india uh but you know the bowling effort is there naseem shah was great haris rauf again he means business it's okay you down and about because he gets too much of preaching from the captain so he get nervous about it so you got to let loose of your fast bowlers us kaya yaar thoda aage kare thoda yahan rakh wo har ball pe har ball pe agar kaya na idhar kar idhar kar yahan kar wo confuse ho jata hai banda so but it looked a good team i still believe कि जब अगर विकटें सही होंगी तो साइम यूब इन वेस्ट इंडीज लीथल माय पर्सनल लाइकनेस इज फखर जमान एज अ ओपनर द पर्सन दैट यू इन्वेस्टेड इन टू फॉर लास्ट सिक्स इयर्स ही कुड हैव जस्ट ही कैन जस्ट गिव यू अ प्रॉपर प्लेटफॉर्म दिस इज अ कट फॉर रोल फॉर एम दिस काइंड ऑफ क्रिकेट बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली ही इज अप एंड डाउन अप एंड डाउन हिज माइंड सेट इज ऑल ऑफ द प्लेस ही डजेंट नो वट टू प्ले राइट हीज अ टीम प्लेयर ही इज इज अ He is. I mean, so is Rizwan. I two statements have been made. Team has approached him. Hmm. So I want to add more things. But look, Scotland has two matches. Has won. Pakistan has won. Pakistan Super Eight qualifies. Does Pakistan, which day Super Eight has gone, then South Africa doesn't care. Then Australia doesn't care. Hmm. 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 Australia doesn't care. मैंने भी सोचा मैं क्या हरा देंगे कि नहीं मैं हराएंगे नहीं मगर नहीं नहीं वो प्रेशर मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है पाकिस्तान ओनली गेट्स बॉक डाउन विद द प्रेशर दैट्स इट एरन सिंपल आज प्रेशर नहीं था ना नो प्रेशर नथिंग ऑफ द सोर्ट इसे कैनेडा दो दे वर बॉलिंग बेटर देन इंडियंस बाय द वे 
At times, Jordan, mm -hmm. if you see, he was nipping around, he was swinging around. Yeah. But there was no pressure. So hold your nerve, get through the super eight. Somehow, we're going to do the same thing as usual for the last 10 years. You know what? Pray. Come back. Pray. I'm praying. <laughs> <laughs> 1.5 million people have watched. And in the you last and game, you were also that. praying that. Yeah. I was praying. I was praying. And I think we're all praying for a rematch of India Pakistan. India -Pakistan. I think yes. this World Cup needs it. We gave it every Water opportunity, it. every opportunity Water by putting them in the same group that this yeah. would happen. And, you know, inshallah, that actually happens and we get to see that again because I just feel like, you know, Pakistan, as you yeah. said, all the raw talent is there. All yeah. of the ability. It's it's just a mental mindset. And it's I think just a, it's a father is missing. Mm. It's a father figure is missing. Mm. I always believe in Pakistan cricket is always needed a father figure in the dressing room, either in the shape of management mm. as a chairman, either as a captain. He, he Yunus is very junior than me, but you know the way he took the team as a father. He, though he was very harsh at times, but he meant mm. he meant good for the kids and the youngsters. And that's why he got him the respect that he has. He won the World Cup. Mm. Though he was not perfectly cut for T20 kind of a uh, captain and, and the player, but the God has given him a, such a glory nobody could ever imagine, but he won it. Yeah. So that is the father figure that we needed. I think Gary Christen is a very smart guy. He's a smart guy. Afiz rightly said that the other day. You keep that management, give them a time, let them settle down. And make sure, mm. you know, you, you talk softly with the iron fist. And I think you get the job done. Yeah. I mean, no one likes to look over their shoulder thinking that anything could happen at any moment. I think no. stability, calmness, clear head. Yeah. Never know where this Pakistan team could end up. And they say pressure makes diamonds. So yeah. let's hope this is the beginning of a diamond and this Hollywood tale that we keep talking about <laughs> just starting to kick into gear. But, you know, one of the most experienced in the lineup, Mohammad Rizwan, he stood up today for his side, carried his bat, Martin yeah. Guptil, 53 off 53 throughout in yeah. a run chase of only 107. That's the sort of uh, mindset that you need. Clear cut, let's relive the innings as it went, but a circumspect start, he saw off the new ball and, and what did you like about his intent right from the word go during his innings? I just think, uh, I like the way that he just saw it the whole way through. Mm. He didn't leave it up to anybody else. He took responsibility to be there at the end um, and, and got the job done. Great partnership with Baba, um, 63 to really break the back of the chase. Um, you know, a couple of early boundaries there. And I like the way that he used his feet. He, he came down beautifully, hit lovely shot over cover there. Um, got to really to the pitch of the ball and then just worked his ones and twos. Mm. He hit gaps beautifully, weighted the ball nicely to the 30 yard circle. You know, pressure on the field of there, misfield, three runs, bring up your 50, job's nearly done. Um, it, it was really, really professional, clinically done by him um, and well supported by Bubba. Um, just really, really well done um, and they needed that. They needed someone to step up and see it all the way through. And talking about that energy and leading from the front, mm -hmm. um, I felt like he was really up for it today. That throw where he threw it up to spider cam as well. You could see he was getting invested in the security guards hanging too close to the sight screen. Like, it was just so much energy and intensity from him today. And I feel like it really rubbed off on everyone in the field as well. Yeah, they knew they had to get the job done and they needed mm. someone to bring that energy and to lead from the front. And it was Rizwan today, um, next game and maybe somebody else. Mm. So you go through that, you know, pe different people bring their different energies each game uh, and, it, and it does feed off through the team. Um, it rubs off on other people who then they bring their own energy um, to, to make sure that they're doing their job right. So, um, you know, it might be might be Sam's uh, turn next game to, yeah, to score, sure. score big runs mm. and see the game Please. through. So. Let's, let's hope anyway. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Were, were you happy, Yunus, with the intention of this run chase? Yes, we were talking about that net run rate and, oh, you've got to get it done by 13.1 balls to overtake mm. USA. But was the win the most important thing and then the run rate? Or how did you like the way they paced their innings? As I said earlier, that uh, these two points was very crucial for us because, you know, up and down, the batting should be play like they, the, the net, net run rate, this and that. So I think uh, they, they know what they need in this game. So job done, two points, now focus on the next game mm. and then plan accordingly yeah. at that game. If, mm. if you need that net mm. run in the next game, then exactly. you can plan about that. Understood. Two, two points now, everybody's happy, Rizwan scored, Babar Azam now, he have some score on his belt. So I think the nerves will be much down and now they are in good shape.
ठीक है राइट हफीज बाबर के नॉक के ऊपर आपका क्या आज टेक है क्योंकि हमने यूनस भाई ने भी जिस तरह बिफोर द मैच ये कहा था कि स्लो खेलना या तेज खेलना इज नॉट द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम है कि आपने कॉन्टेक्स के अकॉर्डिंगली गेम सिचुएशन के मुताबिक आज जिस तरह की उन्होंने अवेयरनेस शो की विद द बैट व्हाट विल यू से ऑन हिज 33 ऑफ 33 रोहा मैं क्या बोलूं कि अगर बाबर आजम ने अवेयरनेस शो नहीं करनी तो किसने करनी तो ही इज द नंबर वन प्लेयर फॉर पाकिस्तान और वो हर तरह की सिचुएशन और कंडीशन हैंडल करता है टेस्ट का शानदार प्लेयर है टेक्निक बहुत शानदार है उसकी शॉर्ट रेंज बड़ी है तो आज देखें जिस तरीके से उन्होंने मैनेज किया है पूरे प्रेशर को आउट होने के बाद आए रोटेशन की स्ट्रॉन्ग हिट्स भी लगाए और देखें सिचुएशन ये थी कि यही चाहिए था बाबर से 180 का स्ट्राइक रेट नहीं चाहिए था रन बॉल क्रिकेट चाहिए थी वो उसने खेल के दिखाया आ, तो मुझे लगता है कि इस ये जो इस वक्त की पाकिस्तान की बैटिंग लाइनअप है उसमें बाबर आजम का तीन पे खेलना ही सलूशन क्योंकि हमारा स्ट्रॉन्ग मिडल ऑर्डर नहीं है जब बाबर तीन पे खेलता है ही कंट्रोल द होल इनिंग्स और एज ए बैट्समैन ये जब डीप जाएगा वी हैव सीन हिम प्लेइंग सम बिग शॉट्स टू जब ये डीप जाता है तो इसके पास बड़ी शॉर्ट भी मौजूद है तो हमें परेशानी किस चीज़ की है हाँ स्ट्रॉन्ग मिडल ऑर्डर होता जो आज से तीन चार साल पहले था दे कुड इवन गो एंड प्ले द वे दे वॉन्ट टू आज वो नहीं है आज चार पाँच छः सॉरी पाँच और छः पे आप स्ट्रगल कर रहे हैं और आपको नहीं आइडिया हो रहा कि हमारे बाकी तीन प्लेयर कौन से होंगे जो हमारी टीम के लिए खेलेंगे तीन तो हैं फखर रिजवान और बाबर तो हमारे पास मौजूद हैं बाकी तीन समझ नहीं ना आ रहे तो उसमें अगर एक बंदा तीन पे आता है और फखर चार पे आता है तो यू बेसिकली यूटिलाइजिंग अदर्स टैलेंट ऑल्सो तो ये ये बहुत अच्छी चीज़ है मैं बहुत खुश हूँ बाबर को नंबर तीन पे देख के क्योंकि वो पाकिस्तान की टीम में वो बॉन्डिंग और वो सोल्यूशन लेके आ रहे हैं जो मिसिंग पार्ट है तो मुझे लगता है कि यही इनका बेहतरीन रोल है एंड अभी ऑल द बेस्ट Yeah, a lot of uh, hopes uh, from Babar Azam and Rizwan. Of course, both of them. Uh, even today, it felt like Babar was pretty much there in the opening uh, <laughs> partnership because I am got out early. But uh, a good start because now they're making those key changes at the top end. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was a wonderful performance by the men in green. I can't imagine the pressure that they felt on their shoulders yeah. after the last two games. So to get the win was the most important thing. They yeah. did it in pretty quick, emphatic style, which is also very important and. You know, it is all about momentum. This format of the game, and now they have the right kind of mm. momentum going in the right kind of direction. There was some changes throughout the lineup. Yeah. They, they tried to do something different. It worked today, and and credit to Simon Yub as well because it was yeah. the intent was there. The scoring shots were on, yeah. perhaps yeah. on a different outfield as well, where the ball didn't plug. Some of those twos yeah. might have gone for fours, and, and especially that right-left combination was yeah. also there. So. That's yeah. th that's kind of you know, uh, you know that uh, intention and moment you know sometimes works for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. We can't wait to see what Pakistan do next with this lineup. Time for a short break here on Vantage Developers Presents Game On. But when we come back, a little deeper look into what the match uh, held uh, pa uh, uh, meaning for Pakistan in terms of the points, the net run rate, and of course, this time, sabke mind pe jo sawal hai ki qualification scenarios is time kya ban rahe hain because mm. Pakistan really need to win their next game as well. So a lot rides on USA's chances as well. एक छोटी सी ब्रेक के बाद हम वापस आ रहे हैं डोंट गो एनी वेयर An absolute pleasure to still have your company here on Vantage Developers Presents Game on Hair, and you can't take the smile off our faces in the studio because Pakistan they get their first win. It was an emphatic style across Canada today, a win they needed oh so badly to stay in the hunt in this T20 World Cup, all the way over in New York and of course in the Caribbean. And yeah. Roha, first and foremost, I think Marty Party, the Oracle once again, yeah. he gets it right. Yeah. He also close to guessing the amount of runs too, but Marty, the Oracle, please, 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 what's your prophecy for the top two in that group now? Come on. Oh, come on, I can't say just yet. It's, uh, oh. it's too far out. Just see it. Just keeping the suspense alive. 
I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, it was a wonderful win, which was set up front by the bowlers, Barbaraz, and winning the toss, electing to bowl first. Let's relieve the wickets that were taken, which was wonderful work by the paces up front with the new ball show. We're going to have a little yes. look at the overlay here, and Amir on song once again, playing yeah. the match for him. 100%, right on the money. Experienced fast bowler, making a comeback, leaving his mark. And that was the perfect length for Mr. Shine Shah because, you know, he's testing. You know, you sh the ball is kicking through, the bounce is there. All you have to do is just implement that. So he did that. Harris is right on the money. Again, this, that is the turning point for Curtin. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> if they had that partnership going for 50 runs, it would have been a different story altogether. And that my mark is 140, 145 would have been different. You see, there is a bounce there. There is a definitely bounce there and he utilized that. And wow, that is just a sight to see, you know. Ball is kicking through off the stump and you're getting some wickets. And that was, I think, uh, I don't want to say that word. It was a very crap shot. Yeah. <laughs> and a, a little bit wayward to start too, weren't they? I think it was about four overs in a row. A yeah. boundary was taken off every single over, Marty. You were actually noting them down because it was so no. consistent. Yeah, it was the first ball of the first four overs that yeah. Pakistan are bowled. And they'll be aware of that and they'll, they'll want to rectify that for the next game. But as a, as a bowling unit, they... You can't afford to do that against the better teams. They'll just hurt you too much, and they got away with it. Um, I mean, Shaheen went for 10 off his first mm. over and 11 off his next three. So pulled it back really nicely. But the first wicket of Dalawal, mm. <coughs> he was just set up beautifully by Amir. We had four balls across, swung mm. one back in, almost got through, and then the next ball back Gone. through again and got Amazing. through him. He just set him up perfectly. Perfect fast bowlers wicket, wasn't yeah. it, Shob? Yeah. The ability Absolutely to course legit. correct, I think, was most <coughs> impressive by Pakistan today. When things went a little bit wayward, they managed to steer it back on course, Roha, and, you know, get the job done. So, big, important improvement from everyone with the <coughs> bowling unit also. But I think credit to the way uh, Canada started their mm -hmm. innings, you know, that first over Shaheen ka humne dekha, you know, uh, Aaron Johnson, inke baare mein badi baat hui before the World Cup bahut bas thi because uh, ye bhi Jamaica se originally hai and jis tarah unhone aaj tackle kiya Shaheen ko aate saath hi, his 52 of 44 uh, was really the only thing that worked for Canada today with the bat. Aap ko inki innings dekh ke jo hai, wo kya kahenge aage inka future kaisa because franchise ke jo scouts hain, wo is waqt bahut carefully follow kar rahe hain World Cup. जबरदस्त इनिंग खेली उन्होंने और मेरे ख्याल से जिस तरह वो खेले हैं अपनी उन्होंने टेक्निक शो की है स्किल शो की है ऐसी पिच पे ऐसे बॉलिंग के खिलाफ तो आ, उनकी बैटिंग देखें वो बिल्कुल क्लियर थे एक अच्छी बात उनकी बैटिंग में देखेंगे जो भी उस बिग शॉट्स खेल रहे हैं वो फुल फेस ऑफ द बैट खेल ही देखें देखें बिल्कुल शाहन शाह फ्रीदी ने बैक टू बैक इन स्विंग करने की कोशिश की फुल लेंथ और उनको उन्होंने फोल और फिर ये देखें कि जहाँ उनको बॉल मिला उन्होंने ऐसा नहीं है कि क्रॉस बैटेड शॉट भी हैं लेकिन ये देखें बिल्कुल फुल फेस ऑफ द बैट उनको पता था उनका उनको अपनी स्ट्रेंथ का पता है जिस तरह वो उनकी बिल्ट है ये देखें और ख़ास तौर तो पर ये स्पेशल शॉट था अच्छा हम ये समझ रहे हैं कि शायद ये गली के ऊपर से जाएगा ये लेकिन ये फ्रंट ऑफ पॉइंट जो है ना ये सिक्स रन थे और ख़ास तौर तो पर इस तरह ये शॉट देखें स्लो वन था और उन्होंने उसको इतना ज़बरदस्त मेडल किया तो इनका यही है कि ये अब देखें ये एक और एक और शॉट जो कि लग रहा था कि शायद आउट हो जाएंगे लेकिन ह्यूज सिक्स जानी पड़ी है उसमें जी तो एक अच्छी बात यह है कि आप जब ऐसे पिचेस पे खेलते हैं तो उसमें क्या होता है कि जब आप आपके पास टेक्निक हो आपके पास फुल फेस ऑफ द बैट और जिस तरह के आजकल इक्विपमेंट है वो आपके सामने लेकिन मेरे ख्याल से देखें अगर मैं कनाडा की बात करूं तो ये जो एक फेस की बार बार बात करें अगर उस पर जाएंगे तो उन्होंने वहाँ चार विकेट लॉस्ट किए हैं फोर्टी रन पे जो कि सात से पंद्रह ओवर के हम एक एक जो फेस कहते हैं और पाकिस्तान की बात करें तो वहाँ फिफ्टी फाइव हैं और एक आउट है तो ये मिडिल फेज जहाँ भी आता है चाहे आप बॉलिंग कर रहे हो बैटिंग कर रहे हो तो इसी में ही कहीं या तो आप आगे निकल जाते हैं या पीछे रह जाओ जब रिकवरी पे आते हैं क्योंकि देखिए रिकवरी का टाइम होता नहीं है टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट में तो मेक श्योर करें कि आप जब आप आते हो पावर प्ले से और फिर जब आप ये सात से चौदह पंद्रह ओवर तक आते हैं तो यहीं पर यही बहुत मेन क्रूशर एक फेज़ है आपकी इनिंग का जिसको आप विन करते हो तो आप अच्छे शेप में रहते हो मैच में बिल्कुल हफीज रिकवरी की क्योंकि यूनिस बात कर रहे हैं रिकवरी नजर नहीं आई कैनेडा की तरफ से विद द बैट 43 फॉर थ्री थे ये um, और जब आउट हुई निकलस कर्टन और पिछले मैच में भी नंबर पांच और छह के बैटर्स जो थे कर्टन और शेयर्स मोबाइल इनो की इनकी ही पार्टनरशिप थी नॉट मच कंट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ दैट बैटिंग ऑर्डर बट वॉट विल यू से बिकॉज ऑफकोर्स द कैप्टन हिमसेल्फ सेट के पच्चीस तीस रन शॉर्ट थे बट अ गुड बैटिंग एफर्ट फ्रॉम एरन जॉनसन 
देखें अगर आप ओवरऑल देखें तो पाकिस्तान की बॉलिंग ने उनको आउट क्लास किया राइट एरिया में हिट किया और हम सब जानते हैं कि पाकिस्तान की बॉलिंग में वो सारे स्किल्स मौजूद हैं कि वो थ्रेट कर सकते हैं किसी भी बैटिंग लाइनअप को वहाँ पे एरन जॉन्स की एक इनिंग्स ने उनको होप दी कि दे कैन गेट दैट 120 या 130 लेकिन उनके आउट होने के बाद या जो दो मेन प्लेयर थे जो परफॉर्म कर रहे थे कर्टन और मोवा वो दोनों आउट हो चुके हुए थे तो अब किसी और को स्टैंड आउट परफॉर्मेंस देना था जो वो नहीं दे सके तो हमने मेरा अपना ख्याल ये है कि दे दे शुड बी हैप्पी फ्राम द परफॉर्मेंस सोफा कैनेडा की अगर उनकी बैटिंग इस पिच पे मैं देखूं इस पिच पे भी 100 प्लस रन करना पाकिस्तान की बॉलिंग के खिलाफ उनको अपने अपनी परफॉर्मेंस पे खुश होना चाहिए ठीक है यू ऑलवेज वांटेड टू इम्प्रूव योर सेल्फ वो ज़रूर होगा लेकिन मुझे लगता है जहाँ पे वो फंसे हुए थे पाँच आउट हो गए थे सिक्सटी समथिंग के ऊपर वहाँ से ये रिकवरी ले आना वहाँ से ये सारी जो हंड्रेड प्लस रन करके थोड़ा पाकिस्तान को चैलेंज करना दे शुड टेक अ मॉरल विक्ट्री आई बिलीव Right, some positives for Canada with the bat, Erin. But uh, they will be pleased with how uh, you know Aaron Johnson took charge. But of course, not much of contribution for from their informed batters today. Mm, I think it was lucky for Pakistan that Nicholas Curtin yeah. got run out when he did because we know how damaging yeah. he can be. He was definitely one to watch for them today. But. Milestones fell as with every T20 World Cup it seems at the moment but one in particular we have to pay mention to is Harris Ralph he becomes the fastest pacer in the history of the format to make it to 100 wickets so I remember hosting a big bash game where he was player of the match he took a five for only it seems a few years ago now this rise to stardom yeah. he he overtakes the rest of the list there the third ever quickest to get to 100 wickets in the format sitting behind two spinners and Arashi Khan and when Indu Hasaranga where is the ceiling for Harris Rao how far can he go I mean I mean, he came out from nowhere credit goes to Lord Lander to pick that kind of a talent and scouted that kind of talent out of the literally streets uh, of Pindi he comes from Pindi that's why he's extraordinary he's not normal <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> with, with you sorry. as an idol no doubt yeah. was it anyone <laughs> so I need a bit of a flavor, guys. You're too serious. We won the game today. For <laughs> heaven's sake! So I think he, 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 he guy, this guy loves playing this kind of format. He enjoys that. Unfortunately, he just cannot find his length. Mm. You know, his areas to hit, it's like in the stumps, basically. So hey, he gets the bounce. You know, I mean, it's a lucky breakthrough that what he needed for. And I mean, this was, this is how it's route. You know, skid through off the stumps. So. <laughs> uh congratulations to him i think he's 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 done a wonderful job the captain's happy with him i um, mean that is the most important thing uh, the captain talks way too much to them yeah. but uh, yeah, initially on. one thing i just want to say yeah. before we move on from harris ralph though there should be a separate list which includes broken front toes from batters <laughs> because in this room alone yeah. he's broken my husband ben cutting's big toe he's broken marty <coughs> guptill's big toe those toe crushes at 150 clicks an hour just just describe for the audience marty what it feels like when Harris Ralph is on song and you get a beamer at 150 on that big toe it's yeah, still it's, black isn't it it's not much fun and it hurts um, <laughs> and then you got to try and play the rest of the tournament with a broken toe so <laughs> we don't want them to know you got a broken toe because you want to play <laughs> <laughs> well they they knew I did the, the doctor said that there's no point in getting an x-ray because we it'll just going to tell us it's broken so <laughs> and how broken was it on that x-ray it chipped the end of my toe off yeah <laughs> so to have an injection to play get through you don't have a much bit of a you don't have a kind of a luck with your toes don't you Well, it was <laughs> it was that foot as well. Yeah. So I only had one good toe on that foot. <laughs> <laughs> and and the thing was, is being a bowler, Ben's forever had a black front toe from that toe hitting the shoe. And I was like, oh, babe, you know the toe is looking pretty. He goes, no, no, no. He said, that's the wrong foot. That's Harris Ralph. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shame. Two black feet. Little bit, little bit of a, on the lighter note. Harris yeah. Ralph. We see him um, taking wickets in. Um, you know the in wide ball format and we've seen jab se unka career shuru hua he has <coughs> stuck to one single celebration is tarah aap ki ek iconic celebration thi of like that <coughs> airplane and we saw shoaib bakhtar just flying through the ground he had to change a bit of his uh, celebrations shuru mein unki kuch controversial si bhi hui jis pe wo khush nahi the log khush nahi the but how important is a celebration <laughs> for a fast bowler celebration needs to comes out naturally rather than has to be manifested uh You see, when you take a wicket, when the ball hits the stumps, that sound actually gives us the pleasure that you can't even imagine. Mm. So we just glide through with that kind of a pleasure, you know, when we get get this, 
uh, when we're knocking, <coughs> when knocking somebody out, <coughs> it's not a fun. But hitting the stump is something else. Harris, the biggest strength for him is to take wickets. If he keeps on taking wickets, he becomes a better bowler. <coughs> when he does not take wickets, trust me, he's a very expensive fast bowler. So, <laughs> so, my uh, opinion is keep on taking wickets, have a bit of faith in him. He has a pace. When he's going to land in West Indies, I promise he'll be a different bowler altogether because he's going to reverse a bit. With the new ball, <coughs> he'll be uh, excellent. Well done to him. Congratulations. Keep it up. I think the other thing with yeah, Harris as well, we just got to remember that he's only just come back from a very serious shoulder yes. injury as well. So yes. he'll need the time under yes. his belt, the game yes. time to get back to his 100%, um, you know, heading his length perfectly every time. So, you know, during PSL, he didn't play. His, yeah. you know, he was in the gym on a sling trying mm. to get, get through mm. his other work that he needed to do to mm. stay strong enough that he wasn't starting mm. from scratch. So, um, yeah, hats off to the physio team um, to get him back to where he is now. Yeah. Just quickly on the fast bowlers as well, uh, Azhar Mahmood ka kya role aap dekh rahe hai with this bunch? Because he has uh, a great rapport with all, with all the fast bowlers and he has coaching experience hai around the world. What will he bring to this side? Look, Haris Rup, I will say that you should utilize such balls. It's not that you give them the ball and you should utilize them in a condition. We have talked about that you should be able to shoot a fast ball. लेकिन तेज बॉल करें लेकिन तेज बॉल कहाँ करें अगर एक फास्ट बॉलर अपने एक्सप्रेस पेस से नहीं करेंगे तो फिर उसका कोई फायदा नहीं है तो हारिस रूप का भी यही है अगर आप उनको कहेंगे कि बाउंसर ना करें हार्ड लेन पे ना करें और आगे आगे बॉल करें तो मुश्किल हो जाता है ऐसे बॉलर्स के तो उसको आपको यूटिलाइज करना है आपके बॉलिंग अटैक में बॉलिंग बैटरी में एक होता है जो कि ड्रा के रखता है अभी हमने नोकिया की बात कर रहे हैं वो क्या करते हैं वो आते हैं और बैंक 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 और उनको उनको विकेट्स मिल रही होती हैं तो मेरे ख्याल से ये इंपॉर्टेंट होता है और मेरे ख्याल से अजहर महमूद वो फादर फादर फिगर हो सकते हैं इनके लिए इन बॉलर्स के लिए नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल है क्योंकि बहुत चमंदा क्योंकि वो जो है वो उनकी जो कोई हमारे साथ बहुत खेले उनकी मेंटेलिटी थोड़ी चेंज है वो चाहते हैं कि बेस्ट आपसे लें और जिस तरह वो खुद टॉप की क्रिकेट खेले हुए टॉप के ऑलराउंडर थे दुनिया में लीग्स खेले हुए हैं तो उनको बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपीरियंस तो मेरे ख्याल से वो जो हम एक बात करते हैं ना फादर फिगर्स को तो मेरे ख्याल से यहाँ पे बॉलर्स के पास तो एक फादर फिगर्स मौजूद है आप जिस तरह अजहर महमूद का खुद एक करेक्टर है स्ट्रॉन्ग करेक्टर है स्ट्रॉन्ग बिलीव है वो अपने आ, हम सबको पता है वो भी आ, पिंडी से हैं जी 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 वो तो बस फिर आप समझिए अगर वो पिंडी से हैं तो फिर कैसे होंगे कैसे क्या करेक्टर होंगे तो मेरे ख्याल से वो वो फादर फिगर मौजूद हैं और उनके आने से उनके एक्सपीरियंस आने से क्योंकि वो सारे खास तौर पे जो वाइड बॉल क्रिकेट है वो सारी दुनिया में खेल चुके हैं सारे फॉर्मेट खेल चुके हैं तो उनके लिए ये इन बॉलर्स के लिए अच्छा है कि इनसे उनसे जो अपने कोच से कैसे सीखते हैं to 100 T20 I wickets off to a very short break here on Vantage Developers Presents Game on Hey But Don't Go Anywhere because we have a couple of matches in the early hours of this morning to unpack with you all. See you soon. Right, welcome back to Vantage Developers Presents Game On Air. Breaks the pelly, of course, on Pakistan versus Canada. Ki baat kar rahe the, Pakistan have managed to win and put those two points on the board. Or aage jaate huye, moving forward, a Pakistan ka jo Ireland ki against match hai, wo Pakistan ke liye must win hai. As we all know, is fact sirf points ki baat nahi hai. Net run rate bhi aa sakta hai zaruri because of course USA ka har na agle match ka bahut zaruri ho chuka hai. So a lot. Um, at play in Group A, we have discussed before the break and now it's time to take you uh, towards what to expect tomorrow on PDV Sports. The excitement of the World Cup moves to Florida where we will be seeing two very exciting teams who haven't been able to put up a great show so far. But let's see what happens when Nepal take on Sri Lanka. It will be an interesting one and we're already at, at match number 23 of this World Cup. But both these teams coming into this match with a lot of pressure. Yeah, a lot of pressure for both of them. But a uh, really exciting game actually when, when you think about it because Nepal, I mean, 
they still have a mathematical chance should Sri Lanka lose that's, yeah. that's game over for them as well. So they'll be wanting to put forward a much better performance after losing to Bangladesh, that spicy rivalry between the two sides. We definitely haven't seen the best of the Sri Lankans yet. I have a bit of a rough start as well to the comp. They had delayed flights, they had yeah. long commutes, um, and then obviously going down so emphatically to South Africa for getting bowled up for 77 and on a tricky And New they York might wicket. not have won a match so far, Erin, but that net run rate for mm. Sri Lanka, because not only they have their games, but इतने बुरे मार्जिन्स के साथ हारी हैं लास्ट मैच में भी जो उनका शो था 100 रन्स फॉर थ्री विकेट्स एंड देन इन द एंड दे वर ओनली एबल टू पोस्ट 124 सो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू वरी अबाउट फॉर श्रीलंका एंड ऑफ कोर्स हम बार बार अपने शो में भी ये बात करते हैं कि हम वी आर ऑल फैंस ऑफ श्रीलंकन क्रिकेट सो अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम देम स्पेशली व्हेन इट कम्स टू टी20 वर्ल्ड कप्स 10 साल पहले उन्होंने टी20 वर्ल्ड कप लिफ्ट किया था क्या वो इस बार खैर मुश्किल लग रहा है फॉर नाउ बिकॉज़ ऑफ कोर्स उनके बहुत सारे जो टॉप प्लेयर्स हैं वो आउट ऑफ फॉर्म हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स अ लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज गोइंग ऑन देयर बट एक्सपेक्टेशंस एरिन Expectations, gentlemen. Expectation from Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of expectation from Sri Lanka. <laughs> simple, <laughs> simple answer. Simple answer. Very simple answer. Yeah. Simple Don't answer. go home early. Yes. A, a, a bit of weather around yeah. as well in, in Florida, it has to be said. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Marty, I believe, Laura, your beautiful wife, she's hosting for ICC. She's over there. Mm. The place looks like it's underwater mm. at the moment. Uh, maybe something that they have to think about as well, rain affected games, perhaps we're playing even down to a, a T5, that's what we can get to, of course, to constitute a, a 20 over a side game. What have you heard from how the weather's playing over there? Yeah, ha hasn't been too cricket friendly today. Um, and saying that, if there is, does end up being a game today that whoever wins a toss will want to field first so that they know what they're chasing for Duckworth Lewis <laughs> later on in the night. So. Who knows what's going to happen with the weather and, and things, but those shortened games, it's about who switches on quickly mm. uh, and best um, that actually ends up winning those games. So, right, Hafiz, what's your expectations this encounter? If we talk about Nepal, they haven't been very impressive until now. They've been coming from the last match, they're coming from the Netherlands. But Sri Lanka, because they're already under pressure, they're demoralized. Do you think this could be an even-steven contest? Yeah, definitely, and if you talk about Sri Lanka, then this is their chance to stay alive in this tournament. Because they're a better team. है. और जो नेपाल की बात करें तो मैंने सुना है कि जो संदीप लैमी चने हैं उनको वीजा इशू हो गया है करेबियन का अच्छा तो वो यहाँ पे नहीं आ रहे तो एनीवे अगर वो नहीं भी हैं तो मुझे लगता है श्रीलंका की टीम ज़्यादा बेहतर लग रही है ऑन द पेपर लेकिन हमने देखा है कि बड़े अनप्रेडिक्टेबल जो हैं वो रिजल्ट आए इस टूर्नामेंट के अंदर तो एनी एनी थिंग कैन कैन बी एक्सपेक्टेड किया कुछ भी हो सकता है अब देखना यह है कि ये किस तरीके से इस मैच को लेते हैं और श्रीलंका अगर जीतता है तो इस ग्रुप के लिए और ज़्यादा एक्साइटमेंट जो है वो डेवलप हो जाएगी। कहाँ पे दोनों टीमें? फ्लोरिडा। Don't forget about everything. Enjoy it. Enjoy. Enjoy the beaches. It is not happening. It is not happening. So have fun. And even if you are not doing anything in Florida, you are doing nothing anyway. Well, from Florida Hill, from Florida Hill, we're going all the way over to Antigua for our second match of the morning. Of course, that's from 5:30 a.m. Local time here in Pakistan, Australia, taking on Namibia. Yeah. That one is happening in Antigua and Barbuda. Very excited personally to see this one. The Aussies are absolutely flying high, undefeated so far in the competition. But Namibia, they have plenty of talent within their ranks. David Beast springs to mind. Yeah. Martin Guptill, it won't be a walk in the park for Australia by any means. Antigua as a venue, what do we know of it and what are your expectations of the match? Well, that's where Scotland um, beat Oman the other day quite emphatically. So we, it looks like it's a much better wicket. Um, we did see a little bit of turn there from the Oman bowlers uh, in the second innings. But um, saying that, it looks to be a more um, free-flowing wicket than uh, what we've seen so far in the tournament. So Australia, if they win the toss and bat, whatever they do, they'll be wanting to put up a big total and then obviously bowl Oman out um, quite cheaply. Shweb, your expectations from Australia, because if they win the match with the match, they will come to the top of 6 points. And it's going to be predictable, the Australian team, no surprises from them. I didn't expect that kind of performances from Australia, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, winning all the way till the finals. I don't expect these sort of things from Australia. Boring, predictable. It's very boring. I mean, I want Namibia to beat Australia, comprehensively. There's somebody needs to, somebody needs to beat them. Murshid. So that's David what's going to happen. <laughs> Namibia, you know, it's good to see that the, the name Namibia is playing cricket. It sounds good. It sounds right. Yeah. And other nations are coming into play. They have a great time against Pakistan. Though Canada could not able to beat us, but at least there's a memory. 
than they played the World Cup. So um, Australia is going to be not going to be walking the park. It's going to be waking up early in the beds, getting the getting in the buses, going to the grounds, boarding at 20 overs, if not 15. Yeah. <coughs> but still, there is a lot of hard work needs to go in before you win it. So it's going to be an easy run, but uh, and the BBA should give a tough fight back. And mm. that's all I want to see as an emerging nation. Professor, you know these Caribbean wickets very well. You played so much CPL over there. What do mm. Namibia have to do to try and unsettle the Aussies in these conditions? Uh, well, normally Antigua pitch offers you, you know, offers you good opportunity to score runs. So mm. I think as a team, if Namibia even bats first, they can easily, I think if they bat it well, they can, they can get a total of 160, 170, which obviously they're batting. If they post that total, then the bowling can do the job for the team. So let's see how they, they, they take this game on. If Australia bats first, then obviously it could be a, a trouble for the bowlers of uh, Namibia because they they're playing very well. They have all the you know the the players who can who can destroy any bowling attack. So let's see. It will be an interesting contest. Yeah. Right. A lot of expectations. You just quickly, you should comment. Yeah. Lena Chowngi is match ke upper because Namibia ne pehle match mein thoda sa uh, interesting show dikhaya tha jab unhone super over jeeta tha against Oman aur 109 pe all out bhi kiya tha. To unke andar wo fight. ضرور ہے کہ ایک چیلنج وہ کریئٹ کر سکتے ہیں فور آسٹریلیا نبی بیا جو ہے وہ ریگولر اب ٹیم بنتی جا رہی ہے خاص طور پر بگ ایونٹس کی اور بیک ٹو بیک جس طرح ورلڈ کپ میں آتے ہیں پرفارم کرتے ہیں اور ٹیموں کو آپ تھوڑا بیک پر رکھتے ہیں تو وہ چاہیں گے کہ آسٹریلیا کے ساتھ اس طرح کا کوئی کمپیٹیشن کریں جن سے ان کے رینکنگ اور اوپر جائیں اور ان کا جو مرال ہے وہ اور آگے اور شیلنگا کے لیے صرف یہ ک تو جیسے آج پاکستان کو ایک ون ملی اور ہم بالکل ہی آلموس ہم سب یہ سوچ لیں گے سوپر ایٹ کے لیے کالیفائی کر رہے ہیں تو ایکزیکلی شری لنکا کو بھی ہی چاہیے کہ وہ اپنے پہلے اپنا اکاؤنٹ کھولیں اور اس کے بعد دیکھتے ہیں کہ کیا ہوتا ہے ان کے لیے چلیں ہیں لارڈ آف ایکسائٹنگ مومنٹس ڈیٹ وی سو فرام ٹوڈیز گیم پاکستان ٹیکنگ آن کینیڈا لارڈ آف فانس ور دیر ان نیو یورک وانس اگین to back their team, to support their team. But there was one moment that we all loved. Let's take a look at the Park fan moment of the day. Oh, how's that? Absolute elation on their faces. Finally, right? I yeah. mean, long time coming in this World Cup. So exciting to see people showing up still and backing the team and, yeah. you know, getting there and leaving the ground with the, with big smiles on their faces. I've definitely got a few friends who've made it all the way over there. They're sticking around for the last match to support Pakistan against Ireland. And isn't that contest hotting up now to be probably the match that will decide who goes through? Fingers crossed. Yeah. But also like to give away our J. Janair Jam Shed winner perfume recipient. So thank you so much for sticking with us till the end of the show. And I can now announce that the winner is Sundas. Congratulations. Woo! This is on its way to you. You answered that question correctly. Which Sri Lankan player announced his retirement from T20Is after the 2014 ICC T20 World Cup final. Congratulations, an absolutely beautiful gift from JDOT is on its way to you. Thank you for entering. Congratulations, Sundas. And that's all we have for you today on Vantage Developers Presents Game On. Hey, gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking with us and with your analysis. And Erin, you look beautiful in that red, but it was the green that won today. Uh, finally, third time the charm. Mm -hmm. Aap sabka bhi shukriya for watching our show. We will be back tomorrow before the match for all the pre-match analysis. Tab ke liye apna khayal rakhiye. Allah Hafiz. Good night.